Okay, to continue with the service procedure for checking the valve for its appropriate clearance in the valve guide in the head, we first need to know where the wear occurs on the position of the valve. Typically, the least amount of wear occurs in the very center of the valve. The most amount of wear or subsequent wear occurs at the top and then directly at the bottom of the valve guide travel area. The important thing is to use manufacturer specifications and then gauge the dimension of your valve. Reinforce the measurement and calculate the average wear on the stem of the valve. The next thing that has to be done is using an appropriate small hole gauge to position it directly into the valve guide on the engine. Once we position this, we're doing a very similar process. We're checking the valve guide top, middle, and bottom of the position and comparing it to the average top, middle, bottom reading of the valve stem that we've already established through measurement. So if we take our small hole gauge in and dial it up, it's very similar to a feeler gauge. Pull it out, then we're going to take our outside micrometer and reinforce, reinforce the measurement. What I'm going to do is show you how to do a proper knurling process to bring this valve guide back within specifications. Through measurement and inspection, I have found that both ends of this guide is bell mouthed, and the clearance in the center where the least amount of wear occurs is beyond manufacturer specifications. Okay, after we've pulled engine specifications related to the service procedure we're looking at, we need to focus in on the actual dimensions we're looking for here. One is we're looking for the guide clearance here, and the manufacturer's information tells us that we're allowed to use one to three thou for a guide to stem clearance. That's an appropriate level we need in there so that we promote the right amount of lubrication and the hydrodynamic wedge theory. Uh, the other one is our guide height of seal type, our free spring length, our installed spring length, open test pressure, and closed test pressures. So going back up to the very top here, we actually have our stem diameter, which the manufacturer says is 310 thousandths of an inch to the maximum of 312 thousandths of an inch. The valve that's in question now has been measured and reinforced at 310 and a half thou inches.